and welcome back to the all day entertainment channel today we're counting down top 10 worst movie remakes don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit the notification button for your dose of all day entertainment content we're also available on social media platforms at all day tv anyway let's get counting at number 10 the matrix resurrections with no clear storyline this very self-aware reboot has to be a letdown on the original trilogy. Basically, we're taken through the first Matrix movie, but a more confusing what did I just watch moment. I mean, if the movie feels the need to explain what is going on through a series of nostalgic flashbacks and references, it's clear enough it didn't need to be made. But if you're looking for cool fight scenes and effects, then I would recommend it. At number 9, Doolittle. The movie is highly confusing for the most part, with an exposition of one minute talking about a character that will never add value to the rest of the movie. The movie itself is so bad, it's good. Like, it's so dumb, it's unbelievable, to be honest. The performances, including that of the animals, is nothing short of terrible. Looking at Robert Downey Jr., this performance was a shot in the foot post his great performance as Iron Man. At number eight. Cats. Right. Where to begin with this one? This movie is a hot mess. For the most important reason being that the movie is not finished. Literally, the CGI is incomplete. This explains the unrendered human hands and feet. This movie screams, we just finished this eight hours before the movie premiere. The only part that makes it worth the watch is the set design, which was really good. But just like it's cockroaches with human faces, this one should be trashed. At number seven. Godzilla 2014. Honestly, this movie isn't half bad. It just shouldn't have been named Godzilla because this was definitely a teaser for the actual movie, Godzilla. We don't really get to see much of Godzilla for the most part of the movie. Basically, you could say the movie is about the US military trying to defuse a nuke to save the world. And what little action there is of Godzilla is left to the military story to intercut those scenes. Like, how is Godzilla a subplot in his own movie? make it make sense at number six lion king you know disney's problem is not letting classics live out as classics loved by the people and left where they need to be left the need for this modern day remake just beats me because the impact the original had in its emotional nuances set up a lot of cherished childhood memories it had a lot of us crying even to this day giving us a story of a lifetime this new version had none of that, just the voice of Beyonce as Nala and a great soundtrack. But that's just that, or maybe you would beg to differ. If you do, comment down below and let us know what you think. So before we continue, please don't forget to like, share, and like I said, comment and subscribe to the channel. Moving on at number five. Ghostbusters 2016. If you're looking for a tragic comedy, well look no further because this reboot was just a laughing stock. The movie was terribly written and feels the need to explain itself and tell us as the audience what is going on instead of showing us. If you have the patience to be bored out of your mind, laughing at the ridiculousness of the movie, then go ahead and watch it. At number four, Charlie's Angels. As far as terrible reboots go, this one was highly unnecessary, like highly unnecessary. This movie was meant to be empowering for women and give us strong female leads, fighting against a patriarchal system. It really did meet its mark on that note, and then followed up with a terrible storyline or plot, if any, did exist. Most of the time, we have these three angels with similar skills fighting against the bad guys, who, surprise, surprise, they're men. If predictability is anything to go by, then this movie is just that, boring and predictable. At number three, Men in Black International. This movie definitely deserves a seat on the worst movie remakes list. 
The main character's objective is the most unimaginative goal for any character drive. Since her main and only motivation is to become part of the Men in Black, an organization she knows nothing about except that they brainwashed her parents. So once she finally achieves this objective and for some reason qualifies with no trial and error and becomes a Men in Black, there's nothing more to her, giving us a shallow storyline with no clear plot direction. And number two... Cinderella 2021. Okay, Disney's progressive now. Great, and Cinderella 2021 is a modern day translation of the views of today. The original storyline of love and romance is thrown out the window. And not to say there's anything wrong with progressive views, but don't call the movie Cinderella. Because it's no longer about love and the initial romance, it's, it's something else. Anyway, at number one, <laughs> Mulan. This has to be one of Disney's worst live-action remakes. The movie completely abandoned the original storyline, throwing the script outside to create some form of meaningless storyline nowhere near the original. Mulan had no struggles to deal with and was perfect from the beginning of the movie. So, if you expect to see any character development, you're guaranteed not to find any here. Anyway guys, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed today's content and if you did, please do like, share and comment down below specifically on what you think. And also don't forget to subscribe. From me and the All Day team, peace out.